Hello everyone, my name is Amit and in this video, we are going to understand the concept of less than and more than cumulative frequency. Let's understand the concept with the help of an example. Write less than and more than cumulative frequency for the following data. The data is marks and number of students. Marks are in the range of 0 to 10, 10 to 20. 20 to 30 and so on till 40 to 50 and number of students having marks in those range has been given. Now we will write down less than and more than cumulative frequency for the following data. First we will try to find out less than cumulative frequency. Now first less than cumulative frequency is the first frequency itself. So, first less than cumulative frequency will be the 8. For finding out next less than cumulative frequency, we will take 8 and next frequency 7. So, it will be 8 plus 7 which is 15. For next less than cumulative frequency, we will take 15 and 5. So, 15 plus 5 equal to 20. For next less than cumulative frequency, we will take 20 and 12. So 20 plus 12 equal to 32. And for next less than cumulative frequency, we will take 32 and 28. 32 plus 28 is 60. Now, how to verify whether the calculation is right or wrong? The total of frequency that is total of number of students, which is 60 and last less than cumulative frequency has to be same repeat last less than cumulative frequency and the total of frequency if it's same then our calculation is right let's understand how to calculate more than cumulative frequency now for more than cumulative frequency the first entry will be nothing but total of frequency so here total of frequency is 60 that will be the first entry for next more than cumulative frequency we will take 60 and 8 so 60 minus 8 is 52 for next more than cumulative frequency we will take 52 and 7 52 minus 7 is 45 for next more than cumulative frequency, we will take 45 and 5. 45 minus 5 is 40. And for next more than cumulative frequency, we will take 40 and 12. 40 minus 12 is 28. Now, how to verify whether the calculation is right or wrong? Here, last value of more than cumulative frequency should be equal to last value of frequency is given. If it's matching, our calculation is right. As you can observe, last value of more than cumulative frequency is 28 and the last value of number of students is 28. It's matching, so our calculation is right. Let's look at the summary of the entire calculation. Hope you understood the concept. Thank you for watching this video.